Hi, welcome to the new video. Today I'm doing the uh, breakthrough effect uh, with the evil clown. And uh, I'm using black and white as opaque colors and the rest of the cars are transparent. And uh, the painting surface is a, a silver chroma lux uh, paper, which is a glossy coated paper. So um, if you can work on this, you can work on metal and plastic very easy because um, with this paper no color gets sucked in by the, by the paper. So every mistake you make, it shows. So I put a little bit of spray glue behind this first stencil so that you get like cool sharp edges. For the shadow you can use this stencil I just removed and uh, put a little bit down and to one side so you get like a um, a space that you can fill up with a sharp edge with light black. Now I'm using uh, like a more softer shade for the for the shadow. So now I'm switching to white and I'm using no uh, first I'm I'm using a light brown to uh, give a little bit of color on the outside and now I'm shooting um, switching to white to do the uh, first effect of the breakthrough Fill it with uh, like 20 30 percent opacity, just that there is a, a light gray on this on these areas. As you can see, you already have this nice effect. Now I'm adding uh, a layer of full white to this, so that you get some uh, cool highlights in this this broken stone. And uh, there you have it now. So at this point, you can fill everything you want into the the middle part. And this now is the layer for painting inside the uh, broken effect. So um, I'm doing the clown as you can see on the side. So I need um, a white background in there. And um, the main thing is the face. So I'm um, using more white in the center of this uh, picture so we can now uh, paint a, a clear clown's face. This is the first stencil of the clown painting everything in full black. And I'm switching to the dark grey. So still with the uh, airbrush, uh, with the black airbrush, but with less opacity. So 
that you get a darker grey tone. And I have um, another grey. So I need to flip the stencil. And this time it's just a hint of, of grey. Now it's time for colors. So it's like as usual red hair, red nose, red face paint. So now I'm going to do the, the eyes or the eye color. And um, just spray one side and keep the, um, the other side a little bit in the dark. So if you add now a color, um, you have like different kinds of the eye color and you don't have to switch on the, the airbrushes for this effect. So I'm just taking now the light brown and spray on the darker side and, and really easy you get like different colors in the eye with just one working step. Now I'm reapplying the uh, light grey to add some effect in the eye. And I'm using the magenta on the background. So I'm using magenta and the light brown. So you get red and orange tones. put a little bit on the clown face so that the final white that I'm adding at the end will pop out a little bit more. Now comes the white highlights for the picture and I fill out everything with white. And there you have your evil clown. Now I'm going to use some white for some pattern in the back side and I'm using some black to add a uh, shadow layer on this whole inside thing so it really looks like the clown is in the inside of this breakthrough effect. As you can see, some parts have turned like uh, pink on the on the downside of the breakthrough. So um, another option um, would be to paint this later if you have the inside ready. But as you can see, you can apply the white stencil and make everything white again.
So this is now the um, breakthrough with the clown. If you like the uh, style of work, you can subscribe my channel or give a thing a thumbs up. And uh, see you soon. Bye.